Amen. I'm out of here. The Bible says, verse 9, when, when they came to the place of which God had told him, Abraham built the altar there and laid the wood in the order and bound his son Isaac. Here, look, look at this. Look at this picture. Give me, give me that rope and bring, and bring a chair with you too. Bring a chair with you. Bring a chair with you. I want, I want y'all to see this picture. I want you to see this picture because the Bible says he went up to this mountain and he bound his son. At this time, Abraham, say with me. At this time, Abraham is about 100 years old. Isaac is 25 years old. Can you imagine Isaac sees the altar, he sees the rope, and then he tells his son, come on, son, sit down. Now, you look at Isaac and look at Abraham. If you look at Isaac, look at Isaac. Isaac can stop me if he wanted to. <laughs> Him big. He sits Isaac down and tells Isaac to hold the rope. And Abraham ties his son. I love this because it was not Isaac that resisted because he's strong enough to resist. He's strong enough to say, no, daddy, what are you doing? Oh, but I'm glad that every now and then God will bind me to some things that I got the power to get out of. Oh, I know you want to get out of that marriage right now, but God said, no, I'm binding you to it. Oh, I know you want to quit that job right now, but God said, you got the strength to walk away. You can quit when you want to quit. Oh, but I'm binding you to it. Oh, I'm so glad that Isaac was a picture of another sacrifice that when nobody forced their life, nobody took their life. Oh, but the Bible says he willingly laid down his life. Oh, I'm so glad that God so loved the world that he's not an Indian giver, but no, he sent forth his son to willingly give his life. Oh, that's what Jesus said. You cannot take my life. Oh, he said, but I willingly let it down. I willingly lay it down so I can be able to pick it back up again. Oh, y'all not going to help me right here. I'm trying to tell you, you may feel like you can get out. You may feel like you can walk away, but God said, no, you got to stay right where you are. God said, no, you got to dig in another time. No, you got to keep on praying. No, you got to keep Keep on fasting because I'm trying to do something in your life. Come on, put your hands together and give them some praise. I said, give him some praise. I said, give him some glory because the Lord trying to do something in your life. I see the last thing because when, when Abraham was getting ready to take the knife and getting ready to kill his son, the Bible says that the voice of the Lord said, Abraham, Abraham, don't do it. He said, now I know, I know that you love me, but I heard. I feel like preaching real quick. I said, I heard, I heard Abraham looked up and he saw a ram caught in the thicket. Y'all ain't gonna help me preaching here. The Lord provided himself a sacrifice. It's my job to obey. It's God's job to give me provision. I would just like to believe the whole time Abraham was going up the one side of the mountain on the other side of the mountain. I believe the ram was going up the one side. Abraham was coming up one side and the ram was coming up the other. You going up one side of the mountain and your miracle is coming up the other side. You going up in faith and your blessing is coming up on the other side. You walking in faith and then your miracle is taking every step. I heard, I heard David say that the steps of a good man, they're ordered by the Lord. And I heard, I heard National Geographic say that the Rams, they don't even go up that high. When God gets ready to bless me, he will defy the natural law. You'll look down your road and say, neighbor, every now and then, God will, he'll break a rule. He'll break a rule. He's a rule breaker. He's a water walker. He's a one that'll open up the deaf ears. He's a one that'll open up.
of the blinded eye. He'll break a rule. He'll come to where you are to see about his baby. He'll come where you are to give you what you need. I heard. Thank you, Brother Watts. I said, I heard. That's your cue to get up. I said, I heard. You still ain't in your seat. I said, I heard. But I'm just playing around. But now I'm trying to tell you that Abraham said he is Jehovah Jireh. Is there anybody in here that know that the Lord will supply your need? He's not an Indian giver. He gave Abraham a son. He asked for the son back. He let the son live. Then he sent his son. That's what Christmas is about. For God. So loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Don't stay at the crib. You got to go from the crib to the cross. You got to go from the crib to the cross. But go on that same mountain and he's getting ready to kill Isaac. Thousands of years later, on the hill, far away, they hung my Savior. He was wounded for my transgression. He was bruised for my iniquity. He hung his head and he died. Look at somebody say he died. Didn't he die? But I'm so glad that's not how the story ends. But early I said early I said early 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 Sunday morning he got up with all power in his hand. Come on, stand on your feet. If you receive the resurrection power, if you're glad about his sacrifice, come on, give God some praise, some glory, and some honor.